I'm at my mama house. What's up, y'all? Savage AF. This is Black Pedro. Waiting for Shang to join in. We're here on IG Live, just like we are Monday through Friday. Uh, Mondays and Fridays, we're on at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Tuesday through Thursday, we're on at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Pammy Poo, Elaine K, Ms. Unique Love, Stuns. Make sure y'all check out Wingopolis if you're down in uh, that Inglewood area, man. Some, some, some of the best wings, man. The brother makes his own ranch, okay? Y'all niggas ain't out here making ranch. That's not what happened. That's not how that goes. Easy JJ's, Nikki FSU. I see y'all. What's going down, everybody? Savage AF, Laugh Factor Radio, powered by Dash. Hey, what's up? Shane's gonna be, there we go. There we go. Big Shane this seems the so brand new flavor in your ear. What's up? I had what's to up? hit him with the old Craig Mac. I heard that you on him. Uh, yeah, they don't know what Craig Mac is. They don't know who the fuck it is. Young Whippers. So it's, it, it's okay. Young um, whippers, snappers. Did you get your power back? No, brother. I am. Uh, if, I don't know if y'all recognize the background. I'm at mom's crib in Vegas. <laughs> I woke up to no power, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to motherfucking Vegas. <laughs> I ain't got to work till Friday. Are you sick, Friday. dog? I'm in Vegas right now. This mom's crib, homie. Huh? <laughs> this, this ain't my shit. Oh, I didn't right know. Though. I didn't know you. I didn't know you were. Uh, you were in Vegas. And shit. Yeah, no. We, I just. I, I got. Yeah, yeah. You had. Yeah, you had moms. You had moms. Yeah. You had mom. Um, uh, I said, um, fuck it, I'm, I'm, I'm out, dog. So, uh, I, plus, I got a cousin in town from Detroit who's, who's in Vegas uh, for a few days. So I'm, I'm going to catch up with, with peeps. But, uh, yeah, man, we, we, I bounced. I, I woke up still with no no electricity. I was like, man, fuck this. And you just said, <laughs> you know what? Shit, yeah. I'm out of here. This is some bullshit. This is that bullshit mm -hmm. right there. So, no, that's cool. Yo, yeah, Savage AF in the building. Um, yo, I want to let everybody know, thank you guys for, like, supporting. Thank you for going on the Facebook page and adding even more people. We had another 100 people add from Sunday till today. So that's that's good. It's a good amount of people adding on. Thank you so much for doing that on Facebook. And we got some other stuff. He's going to pin that on there for, uh, I guess, uh, pin it on I'm the... I'm doing uh, it right here, right now, right yeah, now. Yeah, he's doing it right now. So I'm going to let you know, Savage AF brought to you by us... And it's brought to you by me and Pedro. But no, that's like, right. we, uh, <laughs> and that's what we doing. The laugh pack. We get props to the laugh pack. We get props to Dash. Okay, but the bottom line is we the one doing this shit, and that's what it is. So now I'm, I'm sick is. of that shit. So that's yeah. one. And But when you can check us out on the podcast version of the show, which is on iTunes, Stitcher, Slacker, Google Play, iHeartRadio, Spotify, and SoundCloud. So you already know what it is. That's what you, you know got to do. Is. Subscribe. I'm so sick of you telling y'all. We've been doing this for like months now. And I need y'all to just subscribe as much as possible. Okay? Yeah. I just need you to subscribe. We got J News in the building. J News starting trouble. A lot Welcome of trouble. Hollywood. J News, a lot of trouble. By the way, um, you know, I know what it is with J News. It's, it's cocaine and white women. Um, so I just want you to know that. It's cocaine Welcome and Hollywood, white women. Nigga. So. Yes, yes, it is. Welcome to Hollywood. But Hollywood is kind of quiet as fuck now. So um, make sure that you check out all of the stuff we got coming up. Also, follow Savage AF Radio. You can follow Savage AF Radio. So we're making sure that you all get that information. And if you subscribe, thank you, Donnie B, for subscribing. Um, you know, uh, and make sure you follow all you people checking this out right now. Follow, 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 follow. At Black Pedro. Make sure you do that. Wow. Thank you for subscribing. Subscribe, 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 subscribe on iTunes, Stitcher, Slacker, Google Play, iHeartRadio, wherever you get your podcast, you can check us out. All you got to do is go in there, put Savage AF, and you'll see us. Okay? We, we pop right up. When you do a search, you pop right up. You put Black Pedro, you put my name, it'll pop right up. That's what I'm going to make sure That's you guys is. do. Um, the, the, world, the world is going to hell in a handbasket. But we will does. do the best we can to break um, it down for you mm -hmm. and make sure that we don't all get a Gertrude and go out in the streets and murder yeah. everybody <laughs> right. that opposes us. And, 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 and before we get into the run-up for today's show, I also want to plug one more thing. Uh, going down right after the show tonight, uh, yeah. at 7, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, uh, I'm going to be on a show called Comics Uncensored on YouTube Live. YouTube Live. So uh, go to YouTube.com. <laughs> Did you say YouTube? <laughs> YouTube Live. Uh, YouTube. YouTube Live. Yeah. YouTube.com slash Comics Uncensored. Uh, myself, Franz Cassius, Gerard Guillory, uh, very funny brothers, uh, as well as Davida D, uh, hosted by El Dura. 
So uh, this is going to be a good old time. I've never done it. I'm yeah, uh, it's expect. a good show. It's a good there show. Go. I've had a good time doing Shane's it. Done it. I, okay. think, I think, yeah, Pedro's going to have a good time doing it. Um, you can also check the, you have uh, a good for time more information. Show, so follow. Follow, follow, and... I'm here. We good? I'm here. You hear me? Yeah, no, yeah. it froze for a second. Also, okay, cool. um, you know, if you need more information, go to um, Pedro's page. Follow at back yep. Pedro, and you can see the flyer is right there I got the for you. Right also, there. it's on all my of social media, post. all over between my social media and uh, uh, L. I'm going to just call it L. So um, we're going to give you the daily run-up. The run-up is up. We about to run up on not run, run up, up on your ass. Because that sounds bad. That sounds that bad to run up in you. That would be rough. That's yeah. a little rough. That's a little that's, rough. That's, that's a little rough. unfriendly. That's, let's get consent. Yes. Guys, all right? Uh, Come on. Today, yeah, don't just, don't grab a titty unless you want you to grab a titty. Yeah. Okay? But just don't be just grabbing titties. Because titty grabbing is just not a good thing to just do out the blue. Unless it's your titty. <laughs> unless it's your own titty. Yeah, but see, titty. luckily, I'm losing weight, so I don't have titties anymore. I yeah, still got about nine thousand pounds to go no you but, no, you 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 go you 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 got it brother you own this mission yeah the fact, mission. yeah the fact that i can actually see my chin is actually amazing so i'm i'm working on it um all right um so consent to a titty grab that's right miss adverb yep, miss adverb's yep. new picture look like she's a backup dancer for beyonce's <laughs> backup dancer <laughs> <laughs> she like, uh, yeah no she she her looks and she only give you a few Miss Adverb, she the one that, that won't show her face. She that, that's how that's how the motherfucker said that's how fine she must be. They, yeah, but she's a little crazy. And all of a sudden she getting she getting all kind of dick pics and, and sack yes. you know, sack, sack shots. Well, uh, you he, know, I mean, if you send it like I ha, have you ever sent a dick pic? Tell the truth. No, no, no. Yeah, I don't know. What is that? Women, what do you what do you just that's weird to me. Uh, do women got, like that? I don't. I don't think so. I don't. I don't. Well, some women apparently do like it. Or if you got a dick like a baby arm, I guess you would want to send it to people. Go look at my baby arm. Yeah. It's, it's a baby and arm holding a, an apple. This is a weird transition to go from baby arm dick to saying hi to Eve's underscore apple seven nine one six. But she is in the building it's, as well as Donnie, part of the Bermuda Two. Zena, Zena T. Lynn, we see you as well. Lady Hazel May, Miss Boop. Let's get into yes. it, y'all. And right. make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to the podcast. Us, it's being updated right now, and we really do need you to subscribe. And Eve underscore seventy nine sixteen is actually updating the YouTube, and you'll see the YouTube is going to be popping off very very soon. And we need you to subscribe to that too. All these things you subscribe to are free, but when you buy the T shirts to support us, the T shirts or the mask. That's support. That's why you go to the website, which is pinned down there, IamShank.com backslash merch, and you can get your Savage AF, Don't Be Average, Be Savage t-shirts. So right. we're going to jump into the run-up, and Pedro going to give you the run-up, and I'm going to give you, you know, the background music. You know, we, we always talk, we call it the run-up, because we don't run down the show. We're going to run right. up from the bottom of the show. So we're going to end today's show uh, with our with our running theme through, in, through this election 2020 season is Vote Ohio. We're going to talk about how to vote how to register, how to vote early, and all your deadlines that you need to know in an important swing state like Ohio. Yes. Um, but before we talk about that, we're going to talk about a new state in the world. It's called China Africa. Yes. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, the, the influence that the Chinese are putting in, not just financially, but uh, now seemingly um, militaristically structurally yeah. uh in, in, a, in an effort to possibly colonize africa let's talk about it but before we get into that we're gonna talk about dakota and i mean d-u-h coda like duh um yeah the, 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 those the, the, dumb motherfuckers but we'll talk south, about how dumb they are so, the south yeah. this this and and the the uh governor governor gnome specifically uh she's refuting uh findings that a potential 260,000 cases are re new cases are related to the South Dakota bi bike rally in Sturgis about a month ago. Uh, but before yes. we talk about that, we're going to talk about these thin mints. <laughs> and when I mean yeah, mints, I little mean tiny like, taste, not even the taste. It's like me giving you a, you're very thirsty and I give you an eye drop of water. We're going to talk yeah. about that. A little uh, eye drop of this, water. This, and when I say mint, I mean like almost like the minting of coins, the minting of money. Uh, right. The GOP has come out with what's being labeled as a skinny 
relief package there, uh, offering up way less dollars than all us need. We're going to talk about that. But before we get into that, uh, we are going to talk about, and we are Savage AF, Laugh Factory Radio, powered by Dash. Follow at Comedian Shang and at Black Pedro. Um, there you go. Resigned to failure. Uh, Rochester, New York, uh, Police Department Chief uh, has resigned in the wake of the killing of Daniel Prude, which we talked about, a man who was bucket naked, but ass, yes. asshole. But also naked. mentally, mentally challenged and uh, butt ass naked, but mentally Handcuffed. challenged. Yes. Um, before we even get into the police chief, I, don't, I think one thing. What's I up, didn't, Lisa? One thing I didn't address uh, with that, with the situation with uh, Brother Daniel Prude, say his name, is that they, uh, you know, you watch that video and it's like once he's handcuffed, he's butt naked in a, a light snowfall in Rochester, New York, back in March. Um, it's freezing out there, bruh. And they just had the man out there in the elements. Like, there was no rush to get him in a car or get a blanket on him. Well, they said he was sitting. They said he was but spitting. They, but they were quick. And he to said he had him. COVID. They were quick to cover him, his head with a hood. But at the same time, there was also no, like, just physically, it doesn't take a doctor to understand that butt naked in light snowfall is extreme exposure. Yeah. I flipped the yeah, fuck but out that, when that, I get you know, No, no, no. I've, I've, not, I've cussed at my family on Christmas morning. Because it was too cold. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so, but but see, you're you're missing one big point, and I'm not trying to go against Pedro, but I'm just going to put it out there, people. Okay, you're saying all that shit, and I want you to know something. He was black. Okay, fuck, he was I black. That part. I forgot that. God part. damn it, man! Uh, got, That's right, the part right. that you should have put in here, bro. He's That's black, bro. If he wasn't That's black, bro, they probably would have gave him a coat, some pants, shoes. You know, maybe a scarf. They would have definitely gave him a scarf. Um, but it, yeah, it, and Rochester is brick cold. That's what MB um, IZZ88 says. It's true. It, and for them to do that, it was, you know, it was so obvious that they, the double standard that goes on because the, even the way they went about it. And then once he did have the, mat, uh, have the hoodie on, they put the hood on his neck or what on his head, they, they had their, their uh, knee on him. It's the same shit. It's the same tactics. If you look at George Floyd, it's that knee to other cops. It's the same shit, okay? Okay, but okay, here we go. They shot a white autistic boy a few days ago. Well. Yeah, no, and uh, listen, we're, we're, it, it doesn't have to just be a, a racial thing with that. They they absolutely, we hear you, Pam Doris Box, but the, the, this highlights just our police are not trained to deal with anybody that is mentally, you know, um, incapacitated, right? So, um, but... We, we have seen white, white people, European-Americans, sorry, you know, uh, wielding knives and things like that, obviously out of their mind. Right. Um, and, and get handled differently. Uh, but uh, in this case, you know, beyond, you know, the bag over his head, I feel like they were headed to a bad place anyway, because how, how long were they going to keep that man out there butt-ass naked on the ground? Before, yeah. yeah, he flips out or yeah. whatever. So Before he flips but, out, how long was he, were they going to put his balls right. on this fucking cold-ass ground Bro. and be like, no, without any help? But again, uh, Pandora's box, I think that you, uh, the fact you brought that up makes my ass itch. You make my ass itch, Pandora bo no, no. Pandora's box, because you I, said that. I'm fucking no. with you about my ass itching. My ass ain't itching. I wash my ass. But yeah. I'm telling you right now, there's a double standard. The way they treated him, they would not have treated a young, blonde, white boy. And you need to know that, so... You need to kiss the world's entire ass if you think that. And thank you, Eve, for uh, <laughs> Eve's underscore Apple straight up. Uh, straight up Ian. Did some, yeah, she did Ian some spell check for me. So, so, <laughs> and you know what's funny? My cousin that's in, ta in town in Vegas right now, nigga name is Ian. Uh, so, okay, so that's, that's probably why. <laughs> it just, and also, just a whole Eve, asked, uh, Eve, Eve asked you, Pedro, for some dick pics. So after we get done with the show and after you do the show after the show, um, dick pics. Send some dick pics. Actually, um, just, go, just go to blackpedrohung.com. And then slash, you, can get, you can download them. Slash chin nuts. Okay? And yes. that's where all the pics are. It's slash chin and, nuts. And right now, if you go to Retail Me Not, there are slash chin nut coupons so you can get a coupon per nut that's yeah per nut so you so you don't want it lopsided you want both nuts right. 
So, right. um, um, no, but, she didn't right, ask so, me for so, she didn't ask me for no dick pic. All right, so I ain't got no let, dick let, to have a dick pic. I let, have a pic. <laughs> speaking of dicks, let's stay focused on the Rochester, uh, New York Depart uh, Police Department, where and th this is troubling, right? Um, first of all, let me finish. I'm, I'm, I'm going to pin this real quick for SAF. Okay. T, but you know, on, the other T thing about Rochester, that I think uh, up, upstate New York cops have a tendency to not give a fuck. Because if you look at it, they do, they do treat white people bad, too, because it was an old, um, older white gentleman that they pushed down. No, 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 no. That was, that was Buffalo. That was Buffalo, New York. No, up, I said but, upstate New York. Oh, upstate. I'm sorry, Mommy. I thought upstate you were, New York I thought cops. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, yeah. They, they don't give a fuck. So... Um, Rochester, so, I'm not surprised. Um, I've done shows up there. I haven't had any running with the cops there. I've had running with the cops in Manhattan. New I had York a gun City. pulled on me in Manhattan, run into a gig because they thought somebody, somebody grabbed a purse. They thought it was me. I had to show them the advertisement in the village voice that I was doing a show and I was trying to catch the subway and it went, Oh, that's you. Okay. You're in the, okay. Well, sorry, man. And you that was it. Didn't. Sorry, man. Yeah. And I was like, well, I got to go. This is all how right. much I wanted to do comedy. I had just got a gun pulled on me, and I was like, man, that's cool and all, but I got to go. I got to do a set. Damn, hit for, him with the flyer. <laughs> yeah, $25. Yeah, I, I got to do a set for $25. You Sorry. Must have, you must have been the only nigga ever been saved by a flyer, a bulletproof flyer. Yes. Um, <laughs> so check this out. Thank you, Village uh, Voice. Speaking of niggas, um, the head of the police department uh, is one, or was one. Uh, the nigga named Was LeBron. one. No, was one. Nigga named Laurent, yeah. uh, he got an apostrophe in his name. L.A. apostrophe, capital R-O-N, Singletary. Uh, he was the uh, police chief in Rochester, has resigned. Um, it, you know, he's saying that there's been a, a mischaracterization and politicization of his, his actions. But keep in mind that there is a, a black mayor there, a black woman. Her name is uh, Lovely Warren. Yeah, uh, Mayor Lovely Warren, and she right. was surprised to not have found out the, the details of this. Right, uh, and, you know, and, and months, find, months find later, out so until late. video comes out. Yeah, until video right. comes the, out, which was released, by the way, by <laughs> Daniel Proof's family, not by the police department at all. So, you know, that's, yeah, and, and Pam Doris Box, Lacoon would be a good name for him. Lacoon Singletary. Um, and, you know, we don't know much about this, man. We're only hearing it, but Obviously, there was a, a sheltering, at least we could say, of this information. Uh, there was a, uh, how do we say it, hiding. Uh, let's yeah. use some other words. Uh, Burial? They, uh, yes. A, a they, funeral uh, for it. Shoved it. They, had, they were like, this footage could have lived on so long, but uh, we're going to have to bury it today, y'all. I'm so sorry. Uh, rest, <laughs> yeah, rest I am so sorry. We can't let you actually see it. But the actual release date was supposed to be November. My bad. We uh, it got released early. It was it was it was hacked. And the bottom line is, if you look at how they all they handled it, you can tell it was called the same old same old shit. It was a cover up. It was absolutely a cover up. Um, the way that the cops handled it, the way that they handled the situation. Uh, how many times do we have to see it? And we don't have to be trained and all that other shit to see. Yo, man, you're doing the shit wrong. You're fucking up. And how come they always seem to fuck up with us, where they seem to you know, use, you know, kit gloves with white people that do horrendous shit. I posted a, 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 a meme where they showed shot to death, unarmed. Then it shows killed nine people in a church, shot to death. And every other one is a black face. So Pandora's box, I understand what you're saying, but at the same fucking time, why is there such a disparity between the black people unarmed and the people that were killing people? Uh, the, uh, What's what's the one guy? The one guy, um, at Denver, not Denver. Um, the kid, seventeen years old. Um, uh, La Aurora, Colorado. Leron McLean. Aurora. Uh, no, uh, yeah, McLean was his last name. Um, yeah. So, so it's the same shit over and over again. What I'm, you, my point Elijah, is that, Elijah McLean. That's his name. Okay, you got it. So the, there's a double standard, and for you to say there's not means that you're living in a bubble. And there's a couple other people that are saying, well, but there's a woman that hit me up and now I blocked her on fucking Facebook because she started getting a little nutty. She starts saying that, you know, you need to educate yourself for all the things Trump done. And he didn't, he didn't cause any of this division in this country. And I'm like, wow, have you been no, he didn't licking call, Candace listen, Owens pussy and it I, got I, in I, your I, system? Listen, I was, I would say this, he, he didn't cause division in this country. It's been here. Um, 
but he certainly exacerbated it and does everything he can. I mean, it's a long to make lines. sure, yeah, to win yes. an election. Sengbe Ben Yosef says it's them against us all, and they win because they play us against one another. And that's something we talked about yesterday: is the the divide and conquer techniques and tactics that this establishment has always used against any righteous movement, especially for black people. So, um, right. But but here we have you know basically a black run town, right? Black mayor, black police chief, and against each other you know they're obviously not working together on this thing to bring any justice i mean I, I just don't understand as a black man police officer or not but being chief of police how you could um you know stand by like just bury this n take no action on the officers like Oh, Bro, because you, you know what you know what that is. Come on, but man. There's even, so many, even there's as a so many black, black. I mean, dog, are you? A, are you there's so many black guy? people that are so your fucking name confused. Laron, nigga. Your name is Laurent. Yeah, well, that alone should make you at least look into it. You know, you know. But I'm think I think that the bottom line is if you look at how there are black people, and I I hate to say it, and I was literally going back and forth with somebody. There are black people that are so filled with such hatred, and so they just want. The, just please like us. I'll do whatever so you like us. And so uh, for the mainstream or our European Americans that they will forsake their own soul, their own self, their own best interest. And that's what this is. Do, this dude does just like that sheriff. There's a sheriff. I forget his name. He's very famous. Payao or Payao or Pacquiao or Piao, <laughs> Piao, whatever the fuck his name is. The, the brother that uh, Don Lemon just, you know, calmed him down. I saw an interview with him and he's totally against anything black. And he's black as a fucking bottom of a shoe. And so okay. it's just the way it is, you know? Okay. And, and also the drinking of uh, baby blood. So you got to put that, that in. That does affect They're, that they're kind of part of the double whole thing. I don't know if you guys know about the double, but yeah, that's, that's part of it. Hey, I, so I was going to do that once to get some gigs, but I said no. RVA Gourmet said, Virginia just passed a law removing qualified immunity for policemen in the state we are probably going to have a mass exodus of law enforcement. And for those who don't know, qualified immunity is basically the legalese term and avenue that was created to, to basically give cops carte blanche to shoot, feel like they're uh, threatened and be able to kill and then, and then have no uh, recourse or, or accountability for it. Or so, basically get paid. They get, and, these motherfuckers get paid leave. And I'm going to get paid leave. Gonna go I'm going to go ahead and clap for Virginia because that, that is, to be honest, one of the that's last big. No, that's big, but I'm going <laughs> to tell you right now, to they're going to have an exodus. It's just like you saw before. The cops were throwing their badge down in a line because they weren't allowed to use chokeholds. I mean, what the fuck is, what do you, like, this is a bunch of people that are um, basically pussyless and they just want to, you know, what happened to them in high school, they basically want to get some get back. That's all I see it is. Get some cops... That's why it was funny. Somebody threatened this one cop that was lifting weights. I saw this meme and this video. He's lifting weights like, the people always tell me if I didn't have that badge and gun, well, I tell you what, come on down to the gym. And he got flooded yeah, with so many people like, I'm going to come down there and beat yeah. your ass. <laughs> I'm a ninja, and, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, next, and then he said, you know what? Was like, Can we? Know, come on. really man. speaking metaphorically and using poetic license to kind of highlight issues. Like, nah, Yeah, man. exactly. Yeah, so a lot of cops, a lot of cops are, are full of shit, and I've dealt with cops that are full of shit, and police officers that handcuffed me for no fucking reason. So I know for a fact that it's some. It's it's not a. Uh, Sula said it was ego. I think it's not just ego. I think it's inherent racism mixed with ego, mixed with a system that basically says even if I do some crazy shit, most likely I'll get off. Yeah, cops know and, that. Yeah. And uh, Purple Weed Smoke said, we need qualified immunity removed from all states. Amen to that. And amen to your name, dog. That purple, purple, your purple, your purple. Uh, Virginia has gone from blood red to lilac, light purple. Uh, RVA Gourmet says, well, let, let's keep transitioning on up to blue, y'all. Let's go. Um, well, let's see what happens. Yeah, especially with some of the, the places we really need to turn blue. Yeah. Um, uh, Louis, uh, is it, is uh, in the Senate? Said, <laughs> Uh, yeah, like the Senate, exactly. Louisiana take, is uh, taking away your right to protest. Now, that is in the Constitution, which I don't understand how much input and influence this fucking orange cunt stick has. How does this orange cunt stick want? 
he, everything, it's always opposite day with this motherfucker that he does the opposite of what's right. He's such a cunt. Oh my right. God, I want to fist fight him. I know right, he's much so, older than me, but I just want to beat him to a pulp. All right, so listen. Can I say listen. that on here? No, uh, well, you know, we already did. It's so said. It's too late. We savage, we savage AF and the fuck. That's true. Real here. shit. Probably. Real shit. Real shit. Here's, a, here's another reality. Let's not just be um, caught up on the main cunt in America or, or the most visible one and understand that there are so many cunts we need to focus on. Uh, right. And right, right, cunt. right now they run uh, the Senate. And yes. to, today, the GOP-led Senate, um, the grand old party, led by Bitch McConnell, uh, you know, I, I, honestly, I'm going to call him grand cunt number one, and Trumpy Dumpty is number two, and we just don't realize it, you know what I mean? But he, he's like the puppeteer cunt who's holding the marionette cunt who's, who's you know, and, and Trump is the Pinocchio cunt. But Bitch McConnell... Miss Adverb, shut your face, hole. All right, now go ahead. I'm sorry. So, so uh, Bitch McConnell... <laughs> Uh, and the GOP-led Senate clusterfuck, uh, they've come out with what they call, a, well, not they call, but what is essentially a skinny package. And I'm using air quotes because it's been labeled that by the left. But essentially, uh, in opposition to the $1 trillion that is proposed to be needed by the Democrats, the GOP essentially wants to spend $300 billion, which is, you know... Um, less than a third of what's been <laughs> of what's been you know been proposed to be needed um with you know with like you know jobless relief liability protections for businesses that's a huge thing for them they don't want you suing your boss when they made you go back to work and didn't provide you with the care and the protection that you needed and then you got sick and killed right. everybody in your fucking family uh they're going to you know they're not going to be responsible for that that was on you um and, and, and they want to do some school funding because, you know, those need to be open so that the kids can all get sick and then come back. Right, but they got to they, they gotta put the protection in place for the kids and make sure that they have the monies put aside for the stuff, they, the changes they have to make. They ain't going to give a fuck about that. They ain't going to do that shit. <laughs> Why you should, they don't fuck them kids. That. They fuck them goddamn kids. That's what they say. Hey, so the so. kids, you want the kids to be healthy and have everything distanced from them? Well, guess what I got to say about that? How about fuck all those kids? I hope they all get the COVID. How about that? I mean, that's the way they treat it. But the bottom line is everybody knows, everybody fucking knows that because of this, they are protecting the businesses more than they are the people that make the businesses run. And it's just so weird to me that we haven't had an uprising and rushed the White House and attacked these motherfuckers. Yeah. I'm sorry. So, so, and we, and we, and when we, and you talk about them protecting businesses. We talked about this yesterday. And the, the, the true essential definition of fascism is when corporations run the government, and 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 we see that daily for you know decades. Wait now. a minute, like, no, no, no. Is, Joe Biden is a fascist. Come on, man. Everybody knows Joe Biden's a fascist, and and you know what? Everybody, Kamala, hey. Kamala's a pedophile, and you know what? Black Pedro, we already know Black Pedro. Yeah, yeah. We already know what he does. Yeah, he's, he's both. What don't you I know? Do? When he All the when he's not sex black. trafficking, yeah. he's kicking little white babies down steps just to hear the noise them when they bounce. Everybody knows that. Wine? No. <laughs> no. This is European American baby blood that I'm drinking, okay? Yes, everybody. <laughs> see? And you see how he drinks it with both hands? So Who delicious. else does that? I'm just saying. Who else does that? <laughs> Think about it. No, but right now, if you look at the situation of how we're going about it, um, and you look at how the GOP doesn't realize, by cutting it the first time, there's people that can't make ends meet, even especially the people who even get 20, I think 20 was getting 2,500 if you have a family, but it's still, it's, it's not enough under the circumstances that they caused. If they did it right, if you look at other countries that are opened up, and they haven't had these spikes the same way. It's us. We are leading the fucking world. So in turn, since you're fucked up so bad, you're going to have to pay the price. And paying the price is making sure people stay afloat. Because evictions, the moratorium on evictions is up. So there's a lot of people that are going to be evicted. I don't know if you know that, but in Houston, they were talking about one guy was evicting 200 people a day. Think about that. Yeah. That's families, whatever. And, they, and so... I, I I I just want to, man. Can we just get some Gertrudes on the street? That's what I want. I want some <laughs> well, I mean, Gertrudes you know, on it's, the street. It's, 
it's it's getting towards that when you push people into into corners of des desperation like that. When you're back against the wall, you start swinging, bro. Um, but so to break down the bill a little bit, this skinny bill from the GOP before we move on, uh, right. it includes uh, three hundred dollars a week uh, in federal unemployment insurance uh, through December twenty seventh. You know, beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Right. You they got to make sure the holidays hey, hey, go well. Listen, you ain't gonna be able to get your your kids. The G.I. Joe with the Kung Fu grip and then your wife ain't going to want to fuck you. And then you, it's going to fuck up the whole it's going to fuck up the whole Christmas, man. Now, if you can remember that movie, I'm fucking with you. But yeah. you, know <laughs> you got to get your money in. You yeah, I, you know money. I know the movie. Uh, but I'm, I, and by the way, yes. By the way, everybody, uh, I somebody say I saw uh, Terry Clark. I'm writing a script for Uncle Stabby <laughs> and I'm writing a, a script for Uncle Stabby. It'll be Uncle Stabby versus the Karens. Oh, to take over the world. <laughs> so uh, I'm already, I'm about 10 pages in. You're going to see Uncle Stabby from the beginning to the end and how he became Uncle Stabby. You go, and you better go see the movie. When I get it made, you better go see the movie. Uncle Stabby it's versus it's, the Karens. It's called Birth of the Stabby. Yes. <laughs> it's how, it's going to be, the, it's going to be, started. you're going to, it's, 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 it's mandatory viewing for the niggas that like to stab. So three, $300. Uh, is would now be uh, that's a fifty percent reduction in the help they were giving uh, prior to this, right? We were we were getting six hundred dollars if you were getting it uh, in unemployment insurance. Um, so three hundred dollars weekly. That's going to chop that in half. Leading up to Christmas, by the way, g that's going to help a lot. Um, right. It establishes legal protections for businesses, like we said, in healthcare facilities, right? Hospitals too. If they kill you, fuck it. That's on you. Uh, that provides $29 billion in, in health care funding. Uh, then there's $105 billion for schools and permits the U.S. Postal Service to not repay $10 billion loan set up in a previous aid package. Wow. Now, now, now honestly, I'm, I'm with the post office not having to repay anything. Like, just let them run and do the fucking mail. But, um, you know, it, it's just funny to me that they want to throw this amount of money at schools now. When schools have always needed way more money, but in a pandemic, they are so eager to throw money at schools now to get everybody back into a situation that they don't need to be in. So, yeah, you know, right. Bit and just like me. they said, the 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 the, the um, virus will be gone by a certain date. Just like this and that, are we going to have a vaccine? Don't you understand? Everything Trump does is late, and mm -hmm. even when he does it, it's fucked up. And the yeah, fact that they're, and the, and the Republicans and the GOP, those old, crusty old fuck, they're like those Muppets, old white Muppets that's mad at everybody been the on the lawn. The white yeah, they're in the balcony. So, hey, get, you get off my lawn, you nigger boy. I mean, that's who the <laughs> fuck they are. And basically, now the super rich aren't having a problem with their money. Right. No, no, no. You know? We talked about that yesterday, right? They getting it in. They say, they say $3.2 trillion in July, while one in seven households were also uh, claiming uh, food insecurity. So we, we see it going on. I think just what's most interesting before we move on to Dakota uh, is that um, th this was an opportunity for the GOP in general to like, you know, be, be a Robin Hood for the people. Like people need this, even your people, even your toothless, goat-minded, rabbit ass licking, you know, monkey-minded cracker factor honky monkeys they they need this money too and this was right. a time where you could have actually like just helped americans like in general through this pandemic but it's not about america it's, the, it's the, about yeah, it's, he, but it's not about america to just like if they had done this right you and i couldn't really talk shit you know we you know if if the if the covid virus had just gone like if they had done the things that the obama administration did with H1N1 and, and, and uh, Ebola, like, we couldn't talk this shit right now, and we'd be fucked. He'd probably no, be no, in a great no, no. I, You know what? I, you know what? I, I, people, people said without the um, COVID situation that Trump still would have a chance, but there's so much other stuff that he still has pending, and lawsuits, and people that, that around him that are all going to jail or about to go to jail or indicted. So I think he would still have so much other fuck, fuck boy shit that he wouldn't, it wouldn't be. It, we still would have a ton of shit to talk about. A ton. And yeah. RVA, RVA Gourmet, you're right. Instead of Robin Hood, he was robbing the hood. 
Kane Garden. Yeah, but let, well. let me ask some people here on Savage AF, and make sure you, um, I'm going to say real quick, make sure you follow at Black Pedro. All you people watching on my page, watch. make sure you follow at Black Pedro, and make sure you subscribe to our, our podcast version of the show on iTunes, Stitcher, Slacker, Google Play, iHeartRadio. We're on Apple. We're on uh, all the platforms, so make sure you, oh, SoundCloud, I forgot about that, SoundCloud. Um, so make sure you subscribe. I'm making sure I push that, push that, push that, and soon, we want you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're going to have a YouTube channel. It's basically the shows that we're talking about right now. But um, let me ask you, you guys something. If it wasn't for uh, – oh, wait a minute. Wow, let me read this real quick because that, that was a – it's ever. 30,000 niggas left Wuhan when COVID popped off and came here. Wow. Okay, I don't know if that was the case, uh, if it was 30,000. And I don't think it was 30,000 niggas. Um, but I, 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 I think it's bullshit. Um, El Mexica, Mexican Morrison uh, got to hold accountable the people that make it women that make it then spend all their money on establishment goods or get killed like Nipsey. Wow. I never heard nobody actually uh, say that on Savage. Okay. Uh, I, I can see what you're saying, but there's a lot of people that do make it and do come back to the hood and haven't been shot. And I think that this is going to really piss people off when I say this. But Nipsey, I like the way he was doing his thing, but there was affiliations around him that he knew might cause some haters like that. And it wasn't his fault at all, but there was a lot of haters. But there's haters with everybody. There's certain people I go back, and I ain't shit. Somebody's like, oh, you famous? No, I ain't. I go to back to the hood, and but I don't get that much. But shit, ain't a, shoot me, all you're going to get is like, Man, you just wasted money on a bullet. You could have saved that to somebody else. So, I yeah. mean, they it was so, it was a feather in the cap of that motherfucker too. It was jealousy, and it was a feather in the cap that I took out Nipsey. So don't get it twisted. Niggas need still got a long way to go. We got a long way to go with our self hatred. A long way to go. Chiggers, look at y'all. I'm just making up words in here. That's what I like, man. Savage AF, Laugh Act Radio, powered by Dash. Um. So you shut up, Sula. Speaking of haters, Sula told me shut up. Speaking of haters, man. Um, the <laughs> oh gov- shit, yeah, this is <laughs> the governor of South Dakota has long been a hater of what do you call that? Knowledge. <laughs> um, yes. So and she never science. Chris, Christy Nome, uh, the the governor of South Dakota, bit. Republican. Need I say? Um, it, it, there never, it is. Never, never instituted a a mask policy or any social distancing policies. Even though, um, you know, that was the state, one of the first states to pop up with, um, you know, with uh, meatpacking plant uh, outbreaks, right? Uh, and, and it was widespread there. Um, so, of course, South Dakota was the host about a month ago of, and at this point, they estimate that over 400,000 people came to a town that usually, or that is, is home to 7,000 people, Right. Right. So that's like that's like taking motherfucking I don't know um, Atlanta or San Diego or some shit and stuffing it inside of Sturgis. Uh, <laughs> South yeah, Dakota. exactly. But it's, um, yeah, they, it's, they it's, went to the yeah. bar. They were the bar, no mask. You know, Trumper people. They were all there, and uh, Trump, a, a bunch a bunch of Trump supporters went up there that weren't bikers that just wanted to be part of the rally, which caused it. They said over sixty thousand people that weren't bikers. Yeah. 60,000 of them weren't bikers. They just went up there to, you know, yeah. for their freedom. I want to protect my freedom. And now right. I hope that you cough up a fucking lung, you bitches. Yeah. First off, let me say something, man. Uh, I don't even know why North Dakota and South Dakota even have two Dakotas. It should be Dakota and that's it. I don't even understand why you even get, you should get one fucking electoral vote, you bitches. I don't understand that. And it's it just be, wild. It should be, it should, country honestly, and- it should be like Dumb yeah. and Dumber. It should just be like Dakota and Dakota Earth. You know what I mean? That's like it. <laughs> yeah. Dakota but, and Mo Dakota. Like, or, well, you know, the other people live upstairs, and we live downstairs. But the name of the building is Dakota Earth. Dakota. Yeah. Dakota and I mean, Dakota-er. it's just weird, but I saw some of the footage of these fucking idiots, and they're all fucking idiots, and I hope that the majority of them all get a really bad case of COVID. Not a, like a slight case. Some people get a slight case. I want them to get a full blast COVID, I mean, shit, piss, snot. I, I can't. Oh, you well, idiots. 
A, 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 so a study by a California research group suggests, again, suggests that uh, yeah. more than 260,000 coronavirus cases uh, followed in the, in, in the month. 260,000. <sighs> that's, yeah. that's a lot. That's a lot, man. <sighs> Why couldn't it be more is what I'm trying <laughs> to say. Um, but you know, more like, of these crack ass crackers. I can't think. I'll get it. If you get four hundred thousand people in this seven hundred in this seven thousand person place, and then like more, they create more than fifty percent case rate. You know what I mean? Like because yeah, if there's two hundred sixty thousand cases out of you know more than four hundred thousand people going there, like that's they they created a, a a you know you know kind of like a a 50% case rate as far as i can understand here um but again th this governor christy nome is you know completely christy, doubt christy nome no 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 yeah. nothing that's what it ain't, should be christy right. ain't, no ain't, nothing ain't, ain't nome in her head her dome ain't got no in it um but it's uh you know it it it's it's one of these things where we just see this mentality perpetuating in this country of just just monkey nutted possum dung stupidity you know what i mean just yeah politicizing everything making it a poli political situation instead of a human health situation i bet you that, that christy probably she has wad which is not, uh, <laughs> not instead of uh, whack she has whack which is it, no it would be that no. dry ass pussy yeah there, yeah. You, go, there you go there you go yeah that. she's that <laughs> She got dry ass pussy, and I bet you it makes a crunching sound when you put your dick in it. <laughs> I just wanted to make it go even darker. Just <laughs> and dust and old like, fucking pictures fall out she, her ass. She folds her legs at meetings, and it sounds like somebody's uh, unwrapping aluminum foil and shit. <laughs> like, who ordered the turkey club? God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> That away. I, hey, I, hey, I ordered the tuna. tuna. You got a tuna milk at 10 Yeah, you know what? I, I think that the bottom line is I can't have any empathy for none of those people that went up there because they went up there with the intention to flaunt against the situation. And it's not a fucking Republican or Democrat thing. It's a, yeah, that was nasty. That crunchy coosie, yeah, that was nasty. But what I'm saying is the, the thing is, I think that them making, it shows you, and I'm going to say it again. I said it yesterday, I'm gonna say it as much as possible. Who is causing the most problems pertaining to COVID? Is it people of color or is it, and this is not me saying all white people or all European Americans are bad, but who's causing the most problems that's continuing this bullshit? <laughs> Who? Hey. Sandpaper pussy. Sandpa it's sandpaper pussy and the spice, but uh, <laughs> yes. Who? No, really, I wanna ask everybody, every. Everybody on here that's on here right now, all the people that's listening, all the people that watch the show, whatever, how many, who is causing the most problems in the fuck ups pertaining to this whole COVID thing? I'll wait. Ms. Adverb said all white Trump supporters uh, understand that there's a whole coon faction and, yeah. you know, uh, uh, I don't know what we would call cholos, kunolos or. <laughs> yes, you know, because in, in, in Florida and cultures, but they're, they're in Florida, are, yeah. Um, the so it's not the, the Trump, Hispanic I vote is higher. It's, tr it's Trump supporters, right, of any kind, right? Any of those monkey-minded people, because there are black people who are anti-immigrant, and I'm like, nigga, you ain't from here, like, what the fuck? And they ain't taking your job. You trying to go pick berries in the field? You trying to be a janitor, right? Yeah, now? but no. Is that what yeah, you're you, to you do? said it's any su Trump don't. supporters. I'm saying, but who are the majority? If you look at the Republicans and the and and just his whole following. Who is the bulk of the people causing the most shit? Who is the bulk of the people that went up to Michigan with um, guns and went in the state capitol? Who are the people that were driving in those big trucks with the Trump flags and shooting people with marbles? And and who are the people that in Charlottesville nice. that drove through a fucking uh, a protest, not a violent protest, but a protest, and killed a young European American woman? Not only that hit her then backed up over knew and, and knew he was doing it hey so miss adverb don't you ever disrespect elote like that she said mexican trump supporters are called elote that's delicious girl stop i'll run out the house if somebody got some street corn right now um but uh you know 
the reality is I don't even want to call them European Americans because it's not all of them. It it's crackers. It is a, a cracker, cracker man, crack. minded mentality. And that doesn't has nothing to do with saltines. By the way, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this moment to plug since we on crackers right now. I'm gonna take this moment to plug uh Big Sean, uh Detroit Cast Tech, my high school. Okay, new album, Detroit Two. Pl get that shit, download that shit. But I want y'all to listen to Guard Your Heart, okay? It's featuring uh, Mac Early, Wale, and Anderson Pack. Uh, but it, it, it's very current about the situation regarding. You got to send me the information for that. I didn't know Big Sean. Big, Big Sean, Sean is Detroit fire. Two. Detroit 2. That's the new album right now. Okay. Go get it. Okay, but Detroit 2. I'll definitely it's look it up. Song. Okay, right. but the, the other thing is where people try to say Biden has 32 acres that he, the, that he bought for $70 each. Now, don't get me wrong. Biden and the Democrats have done some things that aren't acceptable. But right now, I'm asking the question, and sure you're not answering it. <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't even know why that's relevant. But just, just anything to say negative towards Biden. And that's just like, I hate what people say. Just like they said to Trump something, I think it's Monday, and he said, well, you know, Obama administration is great. He said, you have a lot of corruption around you. You have people going to Bannon and on and on that's going to jail. He said, there was a ton of corruption. I mean, I think it was documented. There was a ton of corruption in the Obama administration. No, motherfucker, we talk about you. We're talking about you, bitch. And yes. that's the thing. So times two times two, you bringing that up don't got a motherfucking thing to do with nothing. That's like me talking about apples and you start talking about papaya. Shut your ass up on this feed, motherfucker. Sorry. I'm sorry. I lost it. it. Sorry, times two, times two. I, you know, I've been drinking. Yeah, I've been drinking. I've definitely been drinking, y'all. But uh, here we go, y'all. So um, Savage AF, Laugh Factor Radio, powered by Dash. Um, so, yeah, we see the science on Dakota. Let's look at some other science in this new state that's forming uh, potentially uh it's called china africa that's what i'm calling it this is where we and we've talked about it on past shows um but china's influence in africa is is expanding beyond financial and infrastructure um investments infrastructure it's starting to be it's starting to be basically they're going to buy africa and turn it into china? it's going to be like ah! and then you can hear ah! Yeah. I'm sorry, that was me mixing African singing. It's gonna be dra it's gonna be dragons and lions, and is Dragon King will be a new movie, <laughs> and it'll be a whole thing. All right, which but, actually sounds pretty cool though, Dragon King. But but uh, um, right, yeah, so, no, we so, are. I, I knew about them. They say basically China's so, trying to buy Africa okay. out, outright. Yeah. So he, here's the thing that's going on right now is that they, there there's been. So there's a story about um, China opening it, opening its 13th police station in South Africa. So when I heard about this, I was like, okay, this is interesting. Let's see what this is about. Right. Um, I, again, I got this from uh, We Are Push Black, uh, their financial sector or whatever. But I, I right. you know, I used it as a platform, like I said, to go and look up other articles. The first thing that popped up. <laughs> was literally from the uh, the consulate general of the People's Republic of China in Cape Town. That 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 <laughs> would sound so weird. Just... That's the name. That's the name. That's the subtitle name underneath the I assume Mandarin writing that is that, that is the head of the <laughs> of the website. <laughs> the first website that popped up when I, I typed in Chinese police stations in South Africa. Uh, so the first one came up from the Consulate General of the People's Republic of China in Cape Town. I'm going to read the, the first couple of sentences, just that, and you could go find it yourself. Right. Recently, a self-claimed science, uh, uh, so, sorry, recently a self-claimed socio sociology doctor from Kenya published a video on social media in which the uh, decently dressed woman, <laughs> blogger, falsely, <laughs> falsely railed I'm sorry, decently dressed just got me. That was it just sounds so weird. Why, yeah. why is that a thing? But decently <laughs> dressed woman <laughs> the, blogger. The moderately falsely, dressed woman. Yeah, yeah, falsely railed with the populist tones that 13 Chinese uh, police stations have been established in South Africa. Next sentence. This fake news 
has stirred up quite uh, aggressive verbal attacks online, fueling a cultural culture of hatred uh, and undermining the friendship between the peoples of China and South Africa. So once I got to the fake news line, I was like, skirt, all right, Chinese state. <laughs> you sound a lot like somebody else right now, right? So I was like, Man. okay, okay. Well, maybe, maybe this ain't the only source I should read. And, you know, I went through the rest of the article and, you know, it, it's, it's state proper propaganda. So it's then definitely I, state know, propaganda, but you gotta look right now that if you look across the world, because of all this racial division, what like racist fucking societies that are based on racism, like America, are using Trump as their icon. And, and all over the world in Europe, uh, there are racist coalitions that are using Trump as their literally their logo. Um, so I, I'm not surprised China would adopt some of that same, you know, bullshit towards Africans. Anybody of color, it just seems like that. That's why when I looked at religion, I'm like, okay, so God is supposed to be like, hey, just worship him and all that other stuff. Why is it worldwide that he shits on people of color more than anyone else? Why did he make for 400 years, if the, and this is getting to religion, watch, well, the, the, watch the religious people just drop off. Why is it that he feels like if it's about, hey, let's just be good people, let's do this, let's do that, there's going to be bad shit happens. Why is it that people of color worldwide are always the ones shit on? Well, and this, is, anybody on, can this, me. this is something different, though, because, hold on, what I'm talking to you about is China subjugating Africa, right? So China is people of color, right? According to European America. Okay, so right? let's so, just say black so, people then. So we're, we're, no, we're just, in, we're just in colonization mode. And specifically how the world, and, and when we talk about it historically, What's it's, up, been, it's been Europe colonizing Africa, but now we're getting into China. And really what I want to point out is that this is just capitalism that has been colonizing uh, Africa throughout time right it's just a a capitalization of these natural resources that uh this continent of africa is so rich in and that these other outside forces um right they only they only see the resources and not the people so just just to and not point the culture out, or any we, of that because I, yeah. I, I can't do any extra time tonight I, like i said we got to jump no i know I, I know i know we got like six minutes but all right so oh yeah but we definitely want so, to get into the uh, ohio no, we're not. We're not today because we're not going to have time because this is this is it's not going to get there. But GreenWorldWarriors.com has a has a, another link that I found right, um, and and just another way of looking at this. Um, so um, actually, these aren't called police stations. These thirteen entities that have been opened up in South Africa by the Chinese, uh, they're called um, Chinese Community and Police Cooperation Centers. Police station, but um, police station. But understand that more importantly, more importantly, besides getting into um, the you know the actual name of it and, and what they're doing, they kind What's of up, broke Jim? down. They broke down colonialism um, in in sort of these three steps. So phase one is mercantile diplomacy. You basically show up with goods. You start trading and you establish diplomatic ties, right? Um, That's number one. You're getting good. You come, you come with something yeah. to the table, and they're like, oh, shit, they balling. You know, everybody loves ballers. You broke as shit, you go to the club, motherfuckers start throwing money in the air. I, I've seen motherfuckers on their hands and knees scooping up every dollar. So it, it happens, right? Like, that, that shit happens. Um, next, you go into militarization, right? And it's always under the auspice of protecting your your foreign nationals who are in in that country and that's exactly what the chinese are doing right they're they're reporting hostilities towards chinese uh nationals in africa and they're they're saying that we need our force in there somebody in there to protect them meanwhile right. Afri africans in china are being treated like old toilet paper and and totally um, yeah they're they're they're, they're, they're shitting on them consistently but let me just ask i, I mean let me ask you this you, even if you say come in with the third you're still the third phase. yeah we get three minutes there's still huh? a third phase there's a third phase no i'm saying yes yeah, so that first and second phase if uh someone said i think it was that miss ever said it's racketeering that's pretty much what it is it's, it's pretty much racketeering it's uh somebody said that they're new colonizers I, it's so much stuff rolling so, rolling down yeah, that's what it's colonization for sure. Oh, RVA Gourmet said that's what she teaches in her uh, modern 
world history class. So yeah, understand that basically what China did, it's the same thing they did to us. They just don't have uh, the military power to flex like that. But we are in, in, in extreme debt to China. And they set up loans with many African nations, Nigeria, uh, Namibia is, is a proposed target. They're, they're setting up bases in, in, in um, military bases, I should say, in Africa, uh, much right. like we have as well. But uh, that, that's a strategy, right? Um, but yeah, man, you know, they, they, their thing is to get these countries locked into loans that they can't pay back. Sound familiar? They, they'll uh, never two, pay back. 2008 right. housing crash in America. Does that sound familiar? But they offer these loans and give them these resources that they can't possibly pay back in enough time. And once they default, then they, end they up take their shit. They take all your shit. We, this is our country now. Um, that's so, the, and, that's, you know, a, I'm, I'm that's just, the I'm mob. Just, I'm foreseeing a future where, you know, we've been like, why didn't Africa come, come get us out of this? Well, we can't do the same. And we might have to look back and be like, and push our government to free Africans from uh, a new colonizing force. Which, and it's basically, way, it, it's a mob move. It's a yeah. mob move. It's just like, hey, now your restaurant is our restaurant. You understand me? You defaulted on the fucking money. You know what date it was. It was December 21st. You didn't pay. Now it's our shit. Now don't say, hey, little African boy, put your shoes on. Get the fuck out of here. This is ours. And I think that the main thing is we see this going on. And in a minute, it's going gonna, it's gonna to flip. And we're going to see it totally crash. That's what I'm saying. It's like. America is so fucking full of shit. Sin is going on. No help whatsoever to Africa. Yeah. And, None. And, and understand that this isn't just specific to Africa. It, it's, it's highlighted and, and it's a recurrence of history. But uh, when I'm here in Vegas, uh, I get, you know, Vegas is an emerging um, real estate market. Uh, and I see these ads from this one uh, real estate firm specifically. But they're like, uh, you know, due to the surge in the market from Californians and the China market is literally how they say it. They're like from Californians and the China market, your home is valuable. So understand that they're not just buying up Africa, but they've been buying up this country. for Oh, years. yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, so uh, that's where we are, man. I got about a minute before I got to jump. So I'm going to yeah, you gotta jump off. plug it one more time real quick. So after this, I'm about to immediately jump to youtube.com slash comics uncensored. Uh, and we're going to do the show, Comics Uncensored, uh, Franz yes. Cashers, Gerard Guillory, uh, uh, Davida D. Uh, it's it's going to be a good old time, I think. I'm going to be drunk. Anyways. Yeah, no, no, I, I've, I, done, so I've done this show before. I shout, out, I, shout, I shout out to all those cats. Make sure that you guys, since we only got a minute left, make sure that you subscribe to Savage AF on iTunes, Stitcher, Slacker, Google Play, iHeartRadio, Spotify, and SoundCloud. Also, make sure you follow at Black Pedro. Make sure you check him out next on Comics Uncensored. Hey, hey, make sure you get, check out the shirt or at least check out the website with the shirts. Don't be average, be savage. Make yeah. sure you check out Pedro on the show. You guys, yeah. thank you so much. We will see you tomorrow, 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. And then yeah. Friday, 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Standard All right, time. Y'all be good. Make sure Come you stay up aware. Don't, don't fucking fall asleep on me. Make sure That's you stay aware. We're out. All right. All right. Peace.